Should be if he knows what, what, every, what everybody I knows. I wonder who's going broke yeah. next. Could beat him in the pot. Call. <laughs> Phil Ivey has over a million dollars now. Phil Ivey could actually have a hamburger and have enough money to pay off his million dollar bet with Juan. He could actually have a whole barbecue right now if he wants. Punish the Unabomber. I'm easily punishable. I am ex there's many weaknesses in my game that people can exploit. You can ask Dur about them. He'll give you the list. <laughs> When's Barry getting here? You might have to pay him something. Come from these, What's it? 30 what? 30 respect. Dur is the last one. We're going to find out about the respect card right now. This is the here moment. Here comes 40,000. <laughs> <laughs> from Dur, you don't know what to expect at any time in your life. It's total wild card madness game with there. <laughs> there is about 18,000 out there already. Both Phil and Antonio are goading Juan into raising here, hoping that he doesn't. But he does. And enter the wild card madness card. That is that a, that's a 25? I don't even have one of those. He goes right to the exploit. Mean, he knows that I have to give up five chips to call. Five instead of just one. A cool 25,000 raise with eight, nine of spades. Oh. So there's under more. He's the best. He's just, he's just torturing me. When, so when I try and get in with one chip, he puts in two. Sure, it might be the best. So it's a one blue chip? Yeah. Ellie's big winner. He might take a shot. <laughs> one blue chip. A lot of people at home call it a one blue chip. <laughs> <laughs> just one blue chip. Worst lay down I ever make in my life. If I just called that survey, I would like to have four colors. See if Mr. Ivy puts in that blue chip. Nope, it's five white chips. It looks quite baller with Ivy stacks of money and chips. It's <laughs> most baller. <laughs> Juan misses. Phil Ivy's got a huge draw, nut flush draw, and an inside straight draw. A little $45,800 continuation bet. Ivy is analyzing the hand. It's very possible that Tom Dwan has a set. He raised 25000 before the flop. He knows he's not going to get Tom Dwan to lay down a hand like Ace King or Aces. How much you start this hand with there? About seven fifty. But... He does have a big draw, and he is playing against Tom Dwan. He might decide to gamble and raise. He just calls. Three of spades on the turn, about as blank as you can get. 162,000 in the pot already. The man with nine high bets, 123-2. Phil Ivey has a big decision now. He feels he's behind. He's trying to figure out if he can get paid off if he makes his hand. If a diamond comes, can he get any money out of Juan? If a jack comes, is he just going to split the pot? He decides to call. I think he's calling for two reasons. One, he feels he can get paid off if he hits his hand. And two, there's a small chance that Juan is completely airballing. Ivy makes a pair of sixes on the river. Misses the flush, misses the straight.
There's four hundred eight thousand seven hundred dollars out there. It's not like Tom Dwan to give up. This is the first time all season that the table has been completely quiet. Even Phil Lock and Antonio are quiet. He is loading the gun. He fires. 268,200. How much is that and how much do you have left? I have about 280 left. Dwan's voice was a little shaky there. He did not want to hear any inquiries from Phil Ivey. Can't expect Phil Locke to be quiet forever. Two fifty eight two. Two sixty eight. You can see that Phil Ivey is not showboating. He is seriously contemplating a call here with a pair of sixes. Wow. What do you see? How long? What do you? What do you see? What I have that I'm taking this long? Long. <laughs> I'm not going to. I think I'm not I believe this one. No, you don't. Yeah, I think I do. This is going to be the sickest call of all time. <laughs> Juan really looks nervous. What Phil Ivey's trying to decide is, is he really nervous or is he acting nervous? The truth is he is really nervous. Tom Dwan is starting to gulp now. The excitement is overwhelming to Ellie. Sorry. He only does for a minute. It feels like he's sleeping. This is not, I don't usually take, take all this long. No, no, I, I don't. Take no one cares, much. Ivy. You can take till the... It's, it's 500,000 in the pot. You want us to tell you anything? Yeah. 500 in the middle. Four, four something. <laughs> Go back to sleep, kid. Let's go back to bed. Juan looks worse. Can't be nothing. Except for that. <laughs> Can't be nothing except what Tom Juan has. Okay. Oh, that one hurt. How much my think eyes he's hurt so so really give him five thousand if you can't show your ace higher better. Give him I give him a free roll for a thousand on ace higher better if you can't. I really think he's the lights just like. What's wrong with your eyes? Because I was staring at the same card the whole time, and something about the lights must really. You had the head. Let's go. Dur, you're a very interesting human. I'm glad to be in your <laughs> orbit. You know, I, mean, I know we don't connect what? a lot, but it's nice to be around. Like, like, like I must have just been at a weird <laughs> light angle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe there is something wrong with his eyes. Maybe he didn't see what he had. You were wrong. But there's nothing wrong with his heart. One of the most outstanding plays in the history of high stakes poker. Next time on High Stakes Poker, a brand new pack of pros comes to the Golden Nugget. How much you start with? Two hundred. What I can steal off a of Phil stack. Some are returning to try and keep winning or change their luck. It was on the mind of that play. I don't know. I don't know if you have met Phil Ivey before. Some are high stakes rookies. Nice size bet, Phil. I was never thinking about folding. And right off the bat, Patrick Antonius and Phil Ivey pick up monsters against each other. 
Will someone go broke again?